Okay, welcome back everyone. So we have, um... There's an extra degree of freedom. They have a fountain called Philippines Olympiad where P of 2 is 6, P of 6 is 2, and P of 1 is P of 8. So, you know, that's fine. Um, and then... This is supposed to give, force it to have a fixed point. Uh, which is fine. Be such that P of A equal to wait. Okay. Um. Oh, can I just use? Hmm. I'm just going to use the Grange interpolation and see what happens. Or not, sorry, not a Grange. I'm just going to use finite differences and see what happens. It feels weird to me that there's a... This has got to be the least efficient way to do it. Uh, X. So, oh, actually, no. This is going to be really bad if I do it this way. Uh, hmm. No, no, no. Okay, back up, back up. Uh... uh, uh. No, okay, we're not doing this. Uh, this is a bad idea, bad idea. Um, yeah, I think... The 2 and 6 is probably better. So I'm going to write P of X plus X minus 8. So the point is that at 2 and 6, um, this is 0. Yeah, so this is going to be X minus 2, X minus 6. And there's two degrees of freedom. One is that there is some K here. And there's some scalar constant here. And then when I plug in 1 and 8, it tells me something like, I don't, I don't really know what. 1 minus k, uh, this is some number, it's like 5. And then, um, when I plug in 8, it's like 12. L a minus k, and these are equal up to. I feel like I'm being baited. And then I need to. So there's some A such that these two conditions together imply this thing up here is fixed. Which I think means I just subtract... Well, I need to kill the P1 and P8, right? So if I subtract these, it tells me that 7 equals... Minus 5L, 1 minus K. Okay, we factor out L, and it's 96, sorry, 91 minus um, 12, 7, K. Okay, so it should be X equals 13, right? And then we're going to plug in 13. P of 13 plus 5 is equal to whatever it is. 13, it's like L times 11 times 7. Okay, so actually this makes it clear that there's no trick with the numbers in the sense that you can write this problem for any anything instead of 1, 8, 2, 6 or whatever and there should usually still be a K. But anyways, this is what we get and I hope I didn't make an arithmetic error. Although, I mean, given my track record, uh, yeah, this is all equal to 11 times 7, so PF13 is 72, I hope? I think that's all. Um,
should be. I, I hope this is correct. Why is L times 13 minus K equal to... Uh, from... Did I, did I screw up the subtraction? So I subtract here. This is 96 minus 5. This is t minus 12 plus 5 minus 7K. I think this is fine, right? 7, 13 minus K. Okay, cool. Um, great. Yeah, cool. Alright, uh, okay. Alright, let me write this up quickly and then we'll move on to the other thing. Uh, let me grab this source. What is 20? I'm, I'm gonna assume this means this year. Uh, in which case I write what? Philippine Six plus and right, someone yell at me if I made the arithmetic wrong anywhere. So is A and B unique? Yeah, it, it has to be 13. Uh, it comes down to like, you need X minus K to... You, you need LX times X minus K to be fixed. Um, So P of 13 plus 5 equals L times 11. Okay. Yeah, easy. 